Let's have a seat, gentlemen. Are we ready? Buenos dias. I am Carlos Menchaca, chair of the New York City Council's Committee on Immigration. Today, the Committee on Immigration will vote on the pre-considered resolution sponsored by Council Members Rosenthal, Rivera, and myself. This resolution calls on Congress to pass and the President to sign H.R. 6361, establishing a Humane Immigration Enforcement System Act, which would abolish the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency known to us as ICE. Last week, this committee, the Immigration Committee, heard testimony from members of the public, academics, and advocates, as well as the mayoral administration who spoke to specific concerns and points where ICE, as the enforcement agency that is barely 20 years old, has extended beyond its mandate, acted in roguish ways, undermined its public safety mission, and hampered our city's efforts to serve our people to serve our neighbors while inhibiting our use of taxpayer dollars. The testimony pointed to a troubling history of mass deportations at the hands of ICE that fundamentally reflect a lack of accountability, a lack of checks and balances. And ICE as a heavily politicized entity that has become the enforcement arm of an anti-immigrant agenda under the current federal administration. As a sanctuary city, New York City, we have come a long way to providing protections for our immigrant neighbors, passing laws that limit cooperation, city cooperation with detainer requests, and restricting the use of city resources for civil immigration enforcement. As the only legislative Committee on Immigration body in this state and in Congress, we have a responsibility to make a statement with regard to the out of control enforcement in our immigrant communities. That is why we are voting on this resolution today to support the Congressional Legislation House Bill 6361. This bill would establish a commission to identify the necessary functions of the current ICE agency, make recommendations to Congress for a federal reorganization of those functions within existing entities, and then terminate ICE after one year of enactment. That is the plan. One of the things that's important about this resolution is that this commission will take its time to really understand how we take all these things into consideration. We heard from the mayor's administration and others about the different pieces within the department. Some of them are working and some of them are not. And that's why I'm so thankful that we are being thoughtful about this discussion and that we're not just using talking points and press and media opportunities and campaigns to move this forward. This is thoughtful. And that is why I'm asking this committee to consider voting in favor of a thoughtful next step process as we abolish ICE to bring a more humane system forward. I want to thank all of the staff who worked pulling this vote together and this uh, larger discussion, the first of its kind in the entire country. My senior advisor, Cesar Vargas, Chief of Staff, Societa Meng, the Communications Director, Tony Chiarito, and the whole committee staff including committee counsel, Herbani Hayuja, committee pol policy analyst, Elizabeth Kronk, finance analyst, Jin Lee. The members uh, who are here today, I wanna, I'm gonna thank them for being here. Uh, council member Holden from Queens, Jaeger from Brooklyn, Drum from Queens, Miller from Queens, Joe Nye from the Bronx, and from Brooklyn, uh, Eugene. Is there anyone from the public who wants to testify? Okay, then we are ready to move to the roll call for the vote. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on immigration on preconsidered resolution, chairman Chaka. Proudly, aye. Eugene. Aye. 
Drum. Permission to explain my vote? Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to proudly vote yes on this um, resolution um, because I view that uh, ICE has simply become a deportation machine which is being used for the wrong reasons and I agree with all of the whereas is in the resolution but particularly wanted to highlight just two of them. Whereas ICE under the direction of President Trump has demonstrated an inability to fulfill its duties without violating due process, human rights, transparency, public accountability, or an adherence to domestic and international law, and whereas the United States of America does not need an opaque and rogue agency operating in our communities, dehumanizing our neighbors, and acting without consequence, I am very proud today to support this legislation. When we heard um, testimony from um, many people involved in the immigrant community, I was very proud to hear Monsignor Sullivan come in and speak about how ICE has be, been used to tear apart families, which I see happening in my community on a weekly basis. I hear stories of families being torn apart. It is heartbreaking, and um, that is why I'm, I'm very, very much supporting this resolution. Thank you, Chair, for your leadership on this issue, and I'm very proud to be able to support this today. Thank you. Thank you. Miller. Vote aye. Joan aye. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. I would be more than happy and willing to be a part of any discussions on immigration reform, but abolishing immigration services without coming up with the proper agencies in advance is not something that I can support. So I vote no. Hold it. Permission to explain my vote? Coming on the heels of 9-11, 17 years ago we were attacked um, because city, state, and, uh, and federal government uh, officials didn't communicate. Uh, Homeland Security and ICE were created to communicate, to, to share information. The vast majority of people that are detained by ICE are criminals, 74%. That's a fact. So, I, again, we're throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Uh, this is uh, ill-conceived. Abolish ICE is a movement, um, but replace it with what? So uh, I'm voting no, and uh, I, I still think that these resolutions are just grandstanding. Thank you. Jaeger. Mr. Chairman, may I be excused to explain my vote? Thank you. Um, I, I have spoken in this chamber about uh, my disappointment with immigration policies from the current administration. Uh, the family separation policy. I voted in favor of our resolution uh, calling for that to be made illegal. And uh, I support uh, wise immigration policy. I am the son of an immigrant, uh, the grandson of immigrants, um, and I'm very grateful to a country which welcomed my family with open arms, uh, as I've mentioned before in this committee and on the Florida Council. This particular resolution asks for the Congress or urges the Congress to enact or to pass uh, H.R. 6361. In my estimation, respectfully, H.R. 6361 is not the best solution. It establishes a commission, uh, and that's true, and the commission should be established uh, to, create, to, to explore the better methods for immigration policy and immigration enforcement in this country. But what it also does is that without regard to whatever the commission says and the recommendations made to Congress being enacted, accepted or not, ICE terminates one year after enactment. That's the language in the bill. So essentially, whatever the commission does, if it does nothing, if it meets twice, if it meets not at all, ICE ends with nothing in its place. And I don't think that I can sit here and say that it makes sense f to, to impose a solution on the United States that we don't have an immigration enforcement body of some sort to keep the dangerous people out of the United States and to find those who are dangerous and send them out. Now, I agree with um, many of the advocates who have indicated in the past that we have people who are not dangerous who uh, are being uh, sucked into the immigration system. But as my colleague, uh, Councilman Joan and I uh, indicated and Councilman Holden indicated, we have to have something. Um, and Councilman Holden was, was uh, uh, very poignant in this point that ICE uh, most of the people that ICE uh, uh, stops and, and brings into their system and ultimately deals with, 74% of them are actually criminals. 
And if you break that apart and say, well, you know, is it a criminal, somebody who dro drove without a license, or is it a criminal who committed a murder? Obviously, we need a system that makes sure that we're going after those who are actually dangerous to the United States. But again, and as I said before, without a solution in place, I can't vote for this. So I vote no with respect to the sponsors of the resolution and Mr. Chairman for your work uh, on this issue. Thank you. My vote of four in the affirmative, three in the negative, and no abstention. Item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you for the roll call. And I want to thank all the members of this committee for coming here today, for engaging in uh, the, the purest form of democracy, which is to uh, tell your story, to talk about your vision. And I am really thankful that the bill uh, or the resolution in front of us has passed and will be voted on at the stated. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you next time.